Hey, what's going on guys? So this is South Central Thailand, one of my favorite places to go herping in the world. There are so many different reptiles and amphibians that you can encounter down here. And there are also a ton of venomous species down here. But are there poisonous species down here? Are there poisonous snakes? And what is the difference between a poisonous snake and a venomous snake? Well, Adam Wickens from Wickens Wicked Reptiles Wiccans Wicked Weptiles? Well, Adam Wiccans from Wicked... <laughs> well, Adam Wiccans from Wiccans Wicked Reptiles and I are going to investigate the answer. Are snakes venomous or are snakes poisonous? And are there snakes that are, in fact, both venomous and poisonous? What do you think? I think that you're venomous and poisonous. I'm Dave Kaufman, and these are my reptile adventures. Rainbow Mealworms is not only a proud sponsor of this channel, they are the premier source for all your reptile food needs. They grow all of their quality insects in-house and I use them exclusively for all my insect eating reptiles. So place your order today at rainbowmealworms.net or click the link in the description below. All right, we haven't even started this morning and look what Ood caught here. I'm facing my stolatum. Oh, uh, ow, ow, stop it. Yeah, they're quite rare. Yeah, they're quite oh. rare, and we're about to find out if it's also venomous. Look at those puncture marks right there from the rear fangs. That could be interesting. Here, let me see your hand. Yeah. Oh. yeah. I'm dying too. That could be very, very interesting, Adam. So this is a buff striped keelback snake. And again, another keelback snake that's very similar to our garter snakes. However, this guy's not venomous. All right, so before you all stick your fingers on that keyboard, I knew that the buff-striped keelback snake is not medically significant. They are about as venomous as our garter snakes back in North America. And yeah, he chewed on me. Yes, he got me with those rear fangs, but the venom that they have is less than a bee sting. I'm not even going to get a rash or any reaction from this. So we're just going to let this guy go over here and Wow, what a cool find. But I will tell you this, there is a species of keelback out here that if I got bit by those rear fangs, it wouldn't be, well, as innocuous as this. So let's take a moment here to talk a little bit about the difference between venomous and poisonous. We've all gone online and seen somebody say, hey, look at this poisonous snake. And then there's a hundred comments saying, no, there are no poisonous snakes in the world. They're venomous. Uh, that's not true. And this little guy right here is proof of that. This is a red-necked keelback snake. This snake is actually poisonous. And it's also venomous. And that's why I'm wearing this glove. So, these are rear-fanged colubrids, which means that they deliver their venom by having to bite you and chew on you and deliver that venom. The reason I'm wearing this glove right now is that this was thought to be uh, pretty mild venom until recently somebody died from this bite. So they are venomous. The venom is what's called medically significant, which means that it will hurt and even kill humans. But if you eat this snake, it's actually poisonous. So what's the difference between poisonous and venomous? Venomous means that it has to be injected through your skin in order to hurt you. Poisonous means that it's ingested in order to hurt you, and this snake is one of those rare snakes in the world that is actually both venomous and poisonous. So you do not want to eat this snake if you're here in Thailand. Now, this is a redneck keelback snake, and they're keelbacks because along their back they have very heavily keeled scales. And obviously, they're called redneck keelback snakes because of that, well, red neck. And the keelback snakes are kind of like Think about them like old world garter snakes. They have the exact same habits, live in the exact same habitats as our garter snakes back in North America. They eat amphibians, they eat fish, they live near water. But these aren't called redneck keelback snakes because they took their cousin to the prom. These are called redneck keelback snakes because in nature, red means danger. Red means I'm poisonous, don't eat me. And so over time, they have developed this red spot right by the back of the head there, hence the name Rednecked Keelback. So the next time you're online and you see somebody say, hey, look at this poisonous snake, yeah, chances are they're using that terminology incorrectly. But there are in fact poisonous snakes in the world. So how is the snake poisonous? Where do they get their poison from? 
Well, these snakes are eating a lot of toads out here and they are synthesizing the toxins, the bufotoxins in those toads that they eat to produce the poison that they have. And this is from the genus Robdophis. And right now there's a lot of work being done on this genus to see if other members of this genus are poisonous and venomous. And that work is being done now. But this one, this one has been proven to be both medically significantly venomous, they have killed people before, and they are also poisonous. This is a Pope's Pit Viper, and this is very similar to the White Lip Pit Vipers and the Big Eyed Pit Vipers that we were finding in Bangkok, but this one has that red tail that he uses as a lure just the same way that his counterparts up in Bangkok do. The difference is, is that this guy has the coolest, reddest eyes, and he's kind of got little tiger stripes going down his back. He's not necessarily uniform green like the other guys were but uh, I'm not gonna get too close and he's been darting all around. He's actually sitting very, very pretty right now. And I'm just gonna let him sit right here and I'm just gonna admire him and take a photo or two. All right guys, so the last time that I was here was back in 2016 and this is the spot where I caught my lifer monocled cobra. Well, I guess we caught, I didn't catch it, but it was right over there by this pond. And to be back here all these years later to the spot where I found my first monocled cobra, man, this is awesome and so good to be back. But I'll tell you, we were in the worst drought that year in probably 20 years. All of this was just brown and dirt. Um, did you find anything yet? Uh, see this? What am I looking at? That's where, that's uh, water. Cobras drink that. Cobras drink water? Yeah. This specific water, I tasted it. it tasted like... Uh, Gerardia? It tasted like uh, uh, cloaca. Ah. Yeah. Salty. So this is equal part, well this is actually uh, two parts hydrogen, uh, one part oxygen. Uh, and then when it goes together it creates water and then life forms such as cobras will drink this to sustain themselves and prevent their kidneys from shutting down. So I think we might be close to a cobra. All right, we're going into the deep dark woods to find a cobra. God, this looks so good for king cobras, monocled cobras, bifocal cobras, cheater glasses cobras. All right, so as I walk through this forest, I have to be very keenly aware that uh, there are tigers here and a lot of them and I won't see them but they'll see me and what tigers do is they'll come up behind you they'll sneak up behind you you won't even hear them and tigers are occipital crunchers which means they're gonna jump on your back and they're gonna crunch down on the back of your skull and then your brains are going to ooze down your back and into your shorts so I have to be very keenly aware and constantly be looking all around me, not only for cobras, but also for the tigers as well. Oh, look at this. The remnants of a sandbar deer. No doubt this, uh, look at this. There's ribs, a couple of vertebrae down there, and the skull. This guy, uh, no doubt lost his life to a tiger here. And we know that because there's only remnants of bones. If this wasn't a tiger kill, the entire skeleton would be here. Not just pieces of it. Those tigers are pretty close. Foster Grant Cobras, Oakley Cobras, Ray-Ban Cobras. Okay guys, look at this. This is a forest crested lizard. Look at the crests on that dude. Okay, that is one cool lizard. Colodes Emma. Not Colodes Emma Locke, just Colodes Emma. Emma has better hair than this lizard though. Does she ever? Yeah. Look at the white stripe and I love the little like black lines right by his legs there. It looks like he's wearing suspenders. 
And the thing that I love about these lizards is it looks like they're wearing eyeliner. I mean, that is just like one punk lizard. So this lizard is so common that it's kind of like, you know, going to Florida and uh, geeking out about the anole lizards, which I do. But these guys are everywhere. Keep punk alive, dude. Right, Adam? Uh, yep. Yep. All right, well, oh, see ya. Bye. Always wear sunglasses on the top of his head, cobras. All right, so we weren't able to uh, replicate the 2016 trip with another cobra down at that water hole, but uh, there's a lot more of this park to see. We just got here, really. We're going to get back in the car. We're going to go see what else we can find. You know what I found? What did you find? Elephant poop. Elephant poop? Yeah, you know what that means? Huh. That there was an elephant there one time. Are, are you sure it was from an elephant and not from, let's say, you? And that solves the mystery. There are no elephants here. There's just Adam Wickens. It feels so much better now. I'll, I'll give you 50 baht to taste that. I'll give you 60 baht to taste it. <laughs> 60 baht is 60 baht. Look at this little dude. This is one of the herp species here in Thailand that I really hoped we would find because these are just incredibly awesome lizards. Can you sit up on my hand there? He's in the water, dude. This is a mountain horned lizard. These guys are so amazingly cool. And these guys are found in higher elevations and cooler temperatures. Right now, we are up on a mountainside where these guys exist. And these guys are really awesome to work with. And the trick to keeping these guys is, as you can hear, we are right along a stream here. There's not a lot of standing water around, and that's the key. These guys need running water, not standing water. But this is a mountain horned lizard. One of the most incredible lizard species that you're going to find up here on this mountain in Thailand. Look at that guy. One of the things that I love about mountain horned lizards is that black mask. And there is sexual dimorphism in these lizards and that the females will get much bigger than the males. All right, so I'm going to give this guy over to Adam. We are getting eaten alive by the mosquitoes out here, so we're not going to hang on to this guy very long. But mountain horned lizards, this was one of the target species that I really wanted to find here in Thailand. Such a cool lizard. All right, guys, look at this. This is a horned spider. Oh, this is so cool. That is like the coolest spider I have ever seen. Adam, look, look. Adam, look at this spider. Please get that away from me, Dave. Adam. It's got too many legs, Dave. Spider. It's got too many legs, look Dave. Look at the spider. I know, it's got legs and horns, and it's too many legs. I want to find stuff with no legs. I'm going over here. Spider. All right, that is just wicked. All right, so way up in this tree up there, there is a clouded monitor. Uh, this is the best we're going to get, because look at this. You want me to go get him? He is way up there. And Adam I'll go get him. is going to go. Like I said, there's no way we're getting this monitor. But look at him up there. All right, so that's uh, two species of monitor we've seen on this trip so far. Two. Two. Dubla. Uh, I too. So we saw the Asian water monitors in uh, Bangkok and now here in the middle of the jungle or a uh, campsite mm -hmm. uh, There's a cluttered monitor over there. There is. There's two more to find. Yeah. Are we gonna find them? No. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. All right. Look at this guys That is leopard poo and that's really fresh He's just here somewhere Can you uh, taste that and find out how old it is? Maximum three hours. Three hours. He's here somewhere. All right, look at that. Those are leopard footprints. That is really fresh. Wow. Uh, I bet it, we're being watched right now. But that is definitely a leopard, and that is a fresh track. All right, guys, so that is confirmation that there is a leopard in this area. That is really fresh scat, and that's going to make herping around here, well, Pretty interesting. Have a 
look at this snake. This is a lifer for me. Lifer means that it's the first time that you encounter a specific species in the wild. This is a Murphy's mud snake and one of the reasons that I love these snakes so much is they look like mini anacondas right down to the eyes sticking out on the top of the head just like an anaconda. And these guys are uniform olive color and they've got nice creamy bellies. There's not a lot of wow factor to these snakes, but for me they are, especially because it's a lifer. I've never seen this species in the wild before. And how do you not love a snake that looks like a little mini anaconda? Now these are water snakes. They're doing the exact same thing out here that the keelback snakes are doing out here. They're doing the exact same things that our North American garter snakes or water snakes would do out here. They're eating amphibians, they're eating fish, they're found near uh, streams or ponds, in this case a stream. But man, Murphy's mud snakes. These are really little anacondas. So when it comes to the question of, are snakes poisonous or are they venomous? Well, here in Thailand with this particular species of snake, we've proven that both terminology is correct. There are snakes in the world that are both poisonous and venomous. So anyway, guys, I want to give a real quick shout out and a thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. If you would like to become a Patreon supporter of this channel, for as little as $3 a month, you can get rattle on swag, early access to videos and exclusive content. So please consider becoming a Patreon supporter of this channel. That link is in the description below. And guys, as always, thanks for watching. And until the next reptile adventure, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.